Okay, we're back. All right, we have Jude. Let's see, is Jude here? Let's have Jude. Uh, so let's take on Jude now. Um, Boss, we're ready. We're ready for you now. All right. So let's take on Jude. We have Jude um, coming on now. They had the, the drink juice to be in Now, what are they drink? You know what they say, like, you have to stay hydrated now. Oh, God, you welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so um, before we go into uh, the current um, situation, I'd, I'd already had the had in mind to bring you on the show because you're one of the people that when I was starting out in the industry as an artist manager, I, I always copied um I always said is I always copied your model and Joy Tongo, um and then a lot of other managers out there, um Kevin Luciano, um a record label, um those T views, uh, there are a lot of people that um you know I look up to what they were currently doing and um i tried to mirror um what you were doing in the industry i want to say welcome to the show this is an opportunity to, to actually um, talk to you on the show thank you very much Mr. all right let's go let's go in um um let's go quickly into a conversation about the the music business and how we have structured it um yourself and your brothers have broken anything in this world in terms of when they say you've traveled you know you've been to different african countries you've been to different um um different continents just because of performance first question to you is where do, where do you think our industry is getting it wrong at the moment um Basically, I think uh, I have to say that everything we have as entertainers musically are all uh, individual efforts right now. There's no teamwork. There's no structure. There's no uh, system guiding anybody. Everybody's just it's like everybody's just in the jungle. You keep to everybody throws stone for uh, anybody where hits mango fall down, you pick and chop, you uh, till the next person go get your own turn, when you go get locked to throw your own. There is no there is no system. I came to find out that I, I was I was thinking about this in like uh, some weeks ago, I was like, where are the Keke Ogumbe Kenny's music that we looked up to then? The Storm Records, uh Obiasika. 
the Dove Records, uh, Nelson Brown. You know, I'm, I'm talking about individual uh, 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 owned record labels. I'm not talking about the Sony, the Premier Records, the, no. These ones that kicked off this, uh, this new generation uh, music that we are enjoying right now. Where are they? Are you telling me that a, a, a Kenny's music with all the connection, the radio station, uh, affluence, the uh, TV stations, the media strength that they have, the money and everything can just disappear? Why? Storm Records, why? So basically, I came to find out that it has to do with, bro, if a record level is standing, and all the artists in that record label wakes up one morning and disappears. The record label will just food. There is no record label without an artist. So it becomes a norm for artists now that they just, even when you are giving them a contract, they will see that, ah, okay, they say for here, if I sign this contract, I'll be enslaved for seven years. They don't care. Already at the back of their mental mind, they already know, say, nigga, once I get signed of say one blood will take off, nothing will happen. It's already embedded in their brain. Contract, whatever you put that contract, it does not matter to them. Hmm. Which, which artists, they up there, where, apart from whiskey, where get that understanding, say, man, for EME, okay, let me just go back and structure, renegotiate, and rearrange till my contract expires. Let me pay off everything I owe the, the company. Oh, I see owe them an album. Oh, I see owe them this. Go back and pay that your full price. Leave the red card label amicably. Go with their blessings. Aside that, no other person. Everybody that fights. See, the basic thing a record label owes an artist once they come to a contract, the basic, I'm not saying that that's the only one, the basic things that they owe them is investing. We're investing in you. We have this platform. We're going to push you, push you, push you, push you. The rest is you, the artist. If a record, a record label cannot put their millions on you just for them to watch you fail, how can they get their money back? They are putting their money so that they can get returns and also see you become somebody. They'll be proud to say, oh, yes, I met this person. So if I see people saying, how can you uh, make this person and you destroy this person's career, you destroy this person's career, you're not, you're not forgetting that this person actually invested millions. Is it, is it deriving some kind of joy in putting millions so that he will see you grow and now bring you down? Okay. Even if you want to believe that the person actually brought the person down, how? If a company sign, uh, 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 employs you and later sacks you, then they still keep in touch with you where you don't go to, to bring you as in how? How? Bring you down as in how? So there's this mentality. This, we, need, we need a serious overhaul of how people think out there. Let's forget about the record label and the artist. Because the artists cannot be doing what they are doing if they don't have that perception that, oh, the masses will back me. No matter what I do, once I come out, come out and cry foul, the artists, I mean, the masses will back me up because I have already given them that, I've already gotten that fan base and I've given them what they wanted. So they will not, if once I cry foul, record label will become the, the evil ones. That mentality must, we must look for a way to erase that mentality in people. If not, my brother, no single investor, not even one single investor. I had a couple of calls who they call me and say, uh, Jude, how do you take do this thing? How do you take do this thing? I can't believe I put my money. Yeah, 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 yeah. This person just woke up, decided to say, no, they go again. I put them for house. He said, no, they do it again. How do I take my money back? I'll be like, my brother, the way that our system is structured, even our judiciary system, there is no law that can tell an artist to forcefully put the artist on stage to perform diligently and keep that money that he was paid so that the record label can get their money. 
No artist, no law. For instance, I sign artists. You know how a system works here in Nigeria? Everybody, they make their money from artists physically climbing the stage and performing. That is where our real money comes in. So if an investor is investing millions on an artist, all his hope of making his money back 80% upward is on the artist performing on shows. Now you put your money on the artist, the artist get two, three tracks so don't blow out there, they don't say pay the artist. The artist can wake up tomorrow morning just to control and say, I bet I need to play that show. My brother, once an artist says that, there is nothing you can do. There is no court. You go say, okay, they seek. Okay. okay um, there is nothing you can do. You, you, I know, want us to... Can you hear me? Yes, of course. I, I, want us to, I want us to take this conversation one after the other because you have seen it all. Yeah, of course. You've done, you've done everything that... You, 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 you played this entertainment game at the highest level, right? Um, a lot of things you have said, right, are not out of place. Yeah. A lot of things you've said. So I was joking with one of my friends yesterday, you know, three or four, four or five days ago. Then I called him and said, Alpha, um, come make we invest for music now. I just I, I was talking to him. He said, you know, he just woke up. He said, he said, we just make sleep come off my eye now. He said, we labor care, okay. music care. Okay. I said, why? He said, see, Ubi, tell me, say, money no day your hand. Ma, I'll give you back. Then to tell me, say, you won't collect money, go invest for music. And it was, we're just joking because of the kind of conversations that have been going on around our industry. Now, I want, I want to ask you a question, right? Why do you think, because see, for me, till today, I know you very well. I'm still surprised that you didn't press charges when there was a default in your contract as not side entertainment. Because let's take out Jude Okoye as an individual, right? We're talking about not side entertainment uh, that Cynthia Morgan was signed to. Why didn't you go to court when you found out that this contract has been breached? My brother, eh? Like I said earlier, I did not sign that. I did not prepare that contract. I did not have. I did not even have any intention of wanting to sign anybody. It was like a persuasion from joy that I was like, okay, let me just help. Let me use the word help. Okay, I needed something that will show that okay, I'm putting my money here and uh, and it's going to be safe. And somebody will actually that yes, this money was put here. I wasn't. I, I watched you and uh, Ms. Uh, Udwak. She was like, you should have known better. She was right. I wasn't running a record level. I was running P-square. Understand what I'm mm. saying? I did not have a right. contract with P-square. They are my blood. So you cannot expect me to, to start studying. Uh, there was no plan to run a record level or sign somebody. That's why I told John, you know what? Prepare the contract, I beg me, I don't get time. I just glanced through and okay, 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 okay. Nobody tell me, say, if I sign this thing, they will carry my account, they will carry my landed property. Okay, fine. I just put them on the head that was signed. And at the end of the day, I beg, how much do I want to make from somebody knowing how much I was making, how much we were making as Peace Square then? So basically, I wasn't. Now you're telling me why I not go sue. My brother, look at the situation now. Look at her situation. What will happen? How would I look? What am I going to gain? Taking somebody to court in that particular... I'm, I, I think I should be extending a, a helping hand instead. Yeah, mistakes have been done. If you own up your mistake, you own up your mistake, then... So... We are human. So, Drew... I mean, listen, I understand. Okay. A, a scapegoat should be made. This thing, if we don't carry and go a particular level, it will continue. But look at it the other way. Who are you trying to take to court? What are you going to achieve personally? Okay, man, I go so um, so that make them pay me money when no they exist, when they not get. Make uh the formation of character. 
What am I going to do about that? Okay, you know, I'm I'm looking into your contract, right? As we're speaking, I want to dive in straight into the contract and section D. Company and artists wish to enter into this agreement to provide. Provide. Yeah. Right? When I was reading this contract, I, I took that part. It said provide for the production and distribution of, of the recordings. Now, that's a conversation I was having with Udward earlier. When okay. it's a company, a company and artists are entering into this to provide, that means that term provide means or when you say company and artist and is dual it's provide is, is that and is dual so, and is dual so it's partnership right yeah is that partnership to provide so was there any time in this contract where um you you spent 50 percent of the money and um uh and um cynthia spent 50 percent of the money no that's why there's a clause that states that if the artist doesn't have the 50 percent the company can now do the hundred percent so at the end of the day when the money comes in the company can now deduct all their investment back plus the 50 percent that the artists wasn't able to provide that they provided they will take them back before they now share according to the percentage agreed okay it's good that you you didn't you I'll say I'll say it's good and it's bad that you didn't uh, you didn't you didn't go legal because I'm sure that yeah, our yeah, legal system can be very, can be very frustrating. But you see, it's, it's, Jude, it's, I think going forward, I want you to I want to ask you, um, I want you to ask I want to ask you one thing. In our entertainment industry, and how things are structured, what would be the suggestion for you? For investors like you and I and all the investors watching us today, we have some of the biggest names in the industry today uh, out here watching us. What would be your advice? Having been pinched right now, what would be your advice on what we can do to change and structure and put the right systems in place for this industry to work? Okay, first of all, we have to work on the system first. And Working on the system does not have to do with just us, the citizens. The system I'm talking about is the law. Uh, it's for a while now, even from Nollywood, the entertainment in general, the, the government of uh, this country doesn't care. They've never paid attention. We're not even asking them to bring in money or show support. Just structure a law that you know, will guide what we're doing. The pirates can be prosecuted when they cross the line. Let people be able to you know, get back their sweat. Not talk about making profits from them. We are talking about a system that can protect investors' money. So it's not what we, the citizens, can do. It's the, what the federal government, the, the, the governing body of this country should do. They should come in and provide that law. The judicial system also should be able to support that law that if you do this, these are the punishments, and the punishments also implemented. It's not about just, ah, have mercy now, have mercy, can't you see? Have mercy now, we just want, there's talent now, just, no. It doesn't, it, it, you cannot grow a system if everybody can just come out and say sorry and everything will be okay. We can't. There has to be, there has to be principles that people have to adhere to. So right now, it's like our contract is not even... In fact, contract is just a piece of paper right now. It's nothing. See, Ba, if I have to run... My, if I have to restructure my record level, I want to run it again. My brother, if you're an artist and you want me to sign you, make sure that the amount of money I want to pay or invest in your head... Say your papa and your mama go bring landed properties, we go work that money. Where you now go sign to me as collateral. My nigga, it's not going to work. It's everybody. There's no artist that don't have that mentality of wanting to run away once they have that side and say, I don't get fan base. Nobody wants to share 50 50 with anybody. Everybody's greedy. So basically, there is nothing we, like you asked, there's nothing we can do. The only thing that needs to be done is if we can be able to have a law 
that can guide this system so that investors will come. Okay, everybody knows that every business is risk. Taking, taking risks, business are risky. So if an investor wants to put his money, he knows that oh, there's a possibility that this money might not come back. That's why they do their research. They do their findings and everything before they now move in. I beg, aside that one, what is going to protect their investment? Knowing fully well that this is a human being that can wake up tomorrow morning and say, I know I cannot do it again. And the worst thing you can do is start taking, the, taking them to the court system. I beg, go, did I put, did I wake up one morning and decide to invest my 15 million naira so that when I'm done investing in 15 million naira, I'll start dragging you to court? Is that what I came out for? There should be a system that, that my 15 million naira, as far as my contract with you starts and finish exactly how it is, how it was stated, then if I don't get my money back, then I'll count my losses. I'll go and lick my wounds. But whereas I put in money on you, and by record, my, my, there's a reason why I put a particular year or time. And whenever I read that level, you don't, you don't work out. My money is not complete. I've not make, made my money. How do I get my money back? Start taking you to court. Spend enough money to get my lawyers and start running up and down in court system. I don't know. There's nothing we can do. Okay. If, uh, if, Drew, if Drew. we don't have a system in place, there's nothing we can do. This will continue. Okay, Drew. Yeah. For clarity right for clarity yeah what is the difference between what business should i use what's the difference between coca-cola and a record label what is, what do you, what do they have in common coca-cola is a product coca-cola is an object coca-cola cannot wake up one morning and run out of your stuff where you keep it there for sale no, but so because the reason why, I, but the reason why I ask you that I'm question, like investing on a human, and when you're dealing with a human being, a human being cannot be exactly where you want them to be. They have their own feelings, they have their own uh, 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 um, directions, their own choices to make. So there's no guarantee. There's no system that can guarantee. That if I'm putting in this money and I'm risking five year contract with this person, that that five year contract will start and finish exactly how we stated it. There is no system that can guarantee that. That's why we're, we're, we're investors are running away. Okay, so why I ask that question is when a, an artist did a record label, right? People, um, it, it's obvious that a lot of people don't understand that we actually run a business, right? Okay. Do you think we run a charity organization as an industry or we run my a brother, business? My brother, eh, that question is too heavy. You know why I say it's too heavy? Because we are dealing with the masses. The artists are the ones that will come out and they are the ones that will be celebrated by the masses. The masses are like now the clout that they get, the power that they get. My brother, once they, their power and clout, their followers and everything is bigger than the record label, nigga, you are done. The record label, they don't outgo their record label according to them. They've outgo their record label, they have outgo their contract, and whatever they want to do, they will do. So, uh, a company is doing business. A record label is also doing business. But the masses that have gotten this love for their favorite, they don't want to hear anything when it concerns you. In fact, you're not even in the picture. Even you taking picture of their favorite is even annoying them. They don't even want anything to do with you. They don't want to know how much you spend to make that their favorite. They recognize them for them to even recognize them. You are out of the picture. Just, eh, what did our guy do you now? Leave and I ain't get talent now. As far as he get talent, he's forgivable. Leave him. How much you spend? 40 million. Eh, forget him now. He ain't get talent now. They don't care. So you are just like a, uh, uh, a stumbling block, right? So, or uh, or a, 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 an object that is, that is blocking their views. I like off the road. Mm. So they don't, people, that's why I said that we need to change that orientation out there that everybody, every artist can come out and just cry foul. And everybody will just say, hey, leave it now. What did you do now? I ah, didn't get talent now. You know I'm making shine. You know I'm making be somebody. 
That is all people care out there. Nobody wants to know who is that person behind that is holding that ladder up, that is sweating up. Nobody cares. So until we have a system that can be able to bring out that, that, uh, 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 should I say, security for investors, for people that are actually sweating, the managers, the 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 A and R's, the the everybody together, my brother. See every artist. Make I, make I tell you, Ubi, try. Answer any DM we get for any artist. Tell the artist say you want to sign up for 10 years. Say you go do a 90, 10 percentage. The person will say they're ready to sign. Do you know why? Word, yeah. Inside the back of your mind, it's already there. Once I blow, I go wrong, nothing will happen. They know. They have watched over the years what has been happening. Ah, ah. This person, what cannot happen? Because then they blow, nothing happen. Ah, ah. One time do nothing happen. Ah, they go cut it, but you see they go and think. Ah, ah, if I have over my own time too, I go do it. Everybody is doing whatever they want and getting away with it. I'm not saying that Kisnari did anything wrong. I'm not saying that did anything wrong. But people are watching. So are you are you going forward there? Eh? Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Going forward, are you ready? Because what we're discussing is the systems, the structures, and the partnerships. But you see, partnership will help us build, partnerships will help us build those structures and systems. Because if two businessmen meet, it's like, for example, if myself, Don Jazzy, yourself, Aldo, um, T Bills, and Co., right, come together and say, you know what, let's form something strong. Then, you know, our businessman will now start saying, you know, this is business. So then we'll start saying, send me an email. My lawyer will talk to you and all of that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Are you ready if two, three other labels that have done something that have, that have had artists that are big as the artists that you you produce on your label, do you think you're, you're, you'll be open to, uh, to partnership to bring, for those labels to come together to form a strong body to bring up these artists and, bring, and uh, attract more investors? Come together and bring which artists or come together on our world protection. Ubi, we're talking about protection first. Under what protection? Which law will stop will stop an artist, will force an artist to go and see? Look at how we are structured here. Look at how we are wired in Africa. Our entertainment in Africa, we get our major money, 80% upward from stage, from performance on stage. And an artist can wake up and say, Bro, I don't feel like going for that show. I know they go. Knowing fully will say, if you go that show, come back, maybe all the money or majority of the money. Record label one can I'm recoup their money. He will say no, they go. Which law will tell us go and say, my friend, if you don't go to that stage and perform, I will shoot you. No law. He will say, I, 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 I'm not feeling fine. If he force himself making climb the stage, he will enter. He will even perform the normal way they perform. He will just perform embarrassingly for you. The only thing you can do in the court system is to say, okay, you know what? Uh, we are going to set an injunction. We are not going to do anything for any other person until you settle this thing. My brother, did I put my money on this artist so that I will sit down and be looking at him? Counting when my, my contract with him will expire. We, the first thing we should be talking about is what is going to secure that investment. Me, Don Jazzy, I'll do you, like you said, we come together. All of us have gotten experiences like that. If we come together, then what? What will happen? We can only come and put our experiences together, put our uh, resources together, and then what? It's the same thing will happen. There's no, there's no security. Hmm. Dude. Yeah. During the contract of an artist, you and I know that they breach their contracts a lot. You, I can say it because I've had artists and I can say it. During the contract, the artists breach contracts a lot. There are times when you book an artist for a show, like you've said already. The artists will tell you they are not going. If they don't take X percentage from the money, they are not going. And that, that is already a breach of contract, simple. Of course. Now, so 
how come when artists are constantly breaching contracts during their contract um, duration, nobody, the label don't say anything? My brother, the label does not say anything because the label is already aware that this artist has gotten clouds out there. This artist is the only means of me recouping my money. See, once that line is crossed, the record label's objective now is getting my money back. Getting my money back. It's not about projecting artists anymore. It's getting my money back. Getting my money back. They have already seen the signs. And once they see the signs, the artist is already on his, his or her way out. The record label now is like, how can I let this guy go? I've not gotten my money back. So they'll have to start pampering the artist, trying to, what do you can I go court for? The court cannot give you your money. The court in Nigeria cannot give you your money. So the only way you have to do is start pampering the artist. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Better go play one show, come back, you collect small. They see how, how, how far you can go to get what you've put so far. Then before you know what, the person will ask bam, finally. Then you now sit back and start licking your wounds. It has happened over and over and over and over again. And as far as there's no security system that can guard this investment, there is nothing we human beings can do. Except to go say, could begin to do East Coast, West Coast level. If, you, if I put my money on you, you mess up, I'll come there and, and show you how, how, how things they do, they happen for, for the uh, West. But that's not our way of life here. So, do you think at this point in our industry, right? See, Jude, I don't think anything is impossible, but being a businessman, I'll ask you this question, right? Because I asked the question to, um, to Fuza before she left. Do you think that the bank label artist formula will work? I, 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 Do you think yeah, it will work? I, I, I know the question you wanted to ask. My brother, first of all, what you have to ask yourself is, number one, would, which bank, which bank will get time to say, okay, bring you as your record label, as uh, the business, then artists come and take loan, join together, so that if you have to them pursue, which bank? Bank not get time to they pursue you, they pursue artists, say, because of, say, you bring, no lie. Bank will say, who is taking the loan? Come put for paper. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. The artists and the record label come together to the bank and sign the loan. So now the thing is this. Banks will not, because of how our industry is structured, banks will not give us loans. Right? Now, the, the money you spent on Cynthia, for example, say you spent 50 million, right? You carry that money. Yeah? 40 million. You carry that money. You went to the bank. Give it to the bank. And say, bank, this is my money, but I've given you, as far as I've given you this money, the money is now the bank's money. So now you take Cynthia to the bank and tell Cynthia that, you know me and you, we are, we are partners. And she says, yes. You know what your, uh, your contract says? You say yes, right? And then, for me, as the left, since they say, they think that the artist has... Um, <laughs> So they say that the artist has talent. He be more. The artist has laugh? talent. Yeah, it, eh? Why they laugh? Now <laughs> you have to laugh. Right? You come here. Eh? So they say, leave him more. The artist has talent. So now, your money is your collateral, your collateral, collateral in the bank, right? So the bank goes. You give the money to the bank. The bank loans the money back to the company. So you, let's say you give the money to the bank as to the coin. So the bank stands, now, stands as the... The bank loans the money to Northside Entertainment and Cynthia Morgan, for example. But, in, but indirectly, it's the, the company's money, but the bank no. stands as so, a security. No, no. So Judo Koye is the CEO, COO of the record label. Yeah. Right? I understand. I understand. Now, Judo Koye is an entity. The company is a, a different entity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So Judo Koye is an entity, the company, or you say, okay, you know what? You carry it and give it to your son. This is your son's money. Your son has taken this money and borrowed it to the bank and given it to the bank. So your son has decided now that he's going to put his own not side entertainment money. Which not side entertainment? I say, okay, I own not side entertainment. 
auntie, come, let's go to the bank. Bank has agreed to give us money. Do you understand? Ubi, Ubi. So um, now, the, the, the artists at the label go to the bank and yes. sign up the Ubi. money. Ubi, Don't first of all, before, Ubi, sorry to cut short. First of all, before you give the bank your money to reloan back to the company and the artists, Abi, first of yeah. all, what you have to ask yourself is, what the bank are not, they are into business as well. Yeah. If it's your money that you're giving them as an individual to reloan you back into the company so that the, back, the, the company and the artists will come and take collateral separately. What are you provide? What is the artist providing as collateral? What interest is the bank getting from this business transaction, even if it's not their money? You think the bank will definitely get interest. So if there will be interest acc accumulated. So if the artist becomes big and decides to break his contract and leave, right? It's them that so will come after going, him, I understand. Yeah, as he's going, he knows that the bank is coming after you to collect their money. So it's no more Judo Koye will be Franklin or Don Jazzy or Audu that is going after the, um, the artist because we will not say anything to you. All we need to do is go and tell the bank that, ah, Oga, my, my better hand has left me. The bank will know that, ah, their investment is at, is at risk because your son is now going to meet the bank and say, after yeah, my money. Ubi, Ubi, that's what I'm saying now. You're giving your own money to the bank as an individual and the bank now putting it out as a loan to you, the company and the artist. My brother, even if the bank don't say, okay, Ubi, and I'm being the CEO of this thing, I don't go need Ubi collateral because I have money. But if tomorrow, peradventure this artist run, run, na me go pursue Amu, not be Ubi go pursue, na me go be responsible to pursue this artist. So that means I go need collateral from this artist so that when the artist go run, I go something I go hold. Mm. Which collateral the artist go get? The artist will not go record uh, record session. One give a uh, bank uh, collateral of maybe half of the money. Maybe you wanted to give out 50 million and make it bring to 5 million collateral. That means the artist go bring something to reward 50 million naira. The artist get collateral of 50 million naira and they come meet you. Okay. So if an artist signs a contract, right? If an artist signs a contract, let's say five years, the first year the artist no blow, the second year he no blow, the third year he no blow, right? Then he come blow like six months into the fourth year. And then um, he blows six months into the fourth year and in the fifth year he refuses to renew his contract. Now do you think that it's fair, right? When you have seen that, okay, this guy don't start to the blow on the sixth month of the fourth year, do you think that it's fair for the, the, the labor to hand the artist a con a, a, an addendum saying that, hey, listen, for the last three years, nothing happened. No? Things just, or for the last three years, six months, nothing happened. Things just started happening now. If at, as, at when your contract expires, you want to leave, can you give us a percentage from your shows for the next two years? Even if, it, if we collect 50-50, or give me 20%. Go as you, as, you, as you won't come out. You think that will work? See, first thing first, uh, your contract has a lot of things uh, embedded in them. What I mean by embedded in them, they are, it's not just about five-year contract. Okay, what, are, what, what and what and what is going to be happening in that five years? How many albums? How many videos? Uh, uh, for instance, now, if you sign that five years and within three and a half years, the art is no blow, then after three and a half years, the person wants that to the blow, and your money is already tied down, and there's a clause there in your contract that states that you know, we are so, supposed to renew this thing, the contract. Meaning that contract renewal is under renegotiation. Maybe now uh, 70 that's what they do in the first place. Okay, now that's done the seed light. That's say, oh, but that's what they do. You know, they favor me. Maybe now come 50 50 or 60 40. It's, re it's renegotiable. But that is why it's in the contract. Even if your contract won't expire, you may want to have fear. And the, pers the contract states that the person is supposed to give you three albums, and only one album will not give you. It doesn't go anywhere. Even if you like making good, they owe you album. And you cannot do anything outside if you don't pay that album. And also, your investment, where you don't put, where the artist approves, say, yes, this money was spent on me. The contract expired. You can go, go perform.
but you must still come and pay that tree. I'm not talking about my profit now. I'm talking about my initial capital. It has to be paid for. Even if my contract doesn't expire with you, you go. You will still pay that money. It was spent on you. While we are doing our business, when we do our business, I have not even talked about uh, me enjoying a profit. You already have said enjoying profit. You get car. You get a bank account. You get lifestyle. You get dress. The company is still spending while you are already enjoying profit. So even if the contract expires and the money invested has not been made fully, even while you they go, the company will leave you to go and go and see whether it will make up somewhere else. You are still owing the company. You must come back and pay. Hmm. It's not about, uh, no, make we renew. Even if you don't want to renew to see the main part of the company fully, as you they go, the company will still attract you. You have to pay. You have, you have a debt you have to pay before you finally free yourself 100% of that company. As far as that, the money where you sign, say yes, you agree, say they spend them on you. Okay, so basically, right, um, I think that if an artist, right, okay, now look at the labor structures in Nigeria. For someone like you, um, it's obvious that you, you give, uh, you give Cynthia Morgan a contract because of the, the love for music and you've been doing it for a time and you believe, you believe in her as much as, as uh, Joy Tongo, you know, you respect Joy Tongo so much and, um, and you believe that, okay, whatever Joy Tongo tells you, you take it. Now, you think that you have every detail of what you spent on Cynthia Morgan? Every detail. Yes, you say you spent 40 million. Do you think brother, if I ask you the first 10 things you did, you can say? Is everything is detailed, dates, what it was spent on, how it was spent, everything. As in, Joy Tongo has every the, the the list everything is there which i sent to cynthia morgan the day she said she's not doing it again so it's not something i'm just saying hmm. so because the reason why i ask this question is a lot of artists wake up and say these labels have never done anything for me i made them money my brother there's no so, dime there's no dime that was spent on artists, me, where Nami goes directly. Oh, Clarence Peter is going to shoot this video. Okay, and the show Clarence Peter has finished. How much? Clarence Peter saying now uh, four million naira. Now the artist that will give the money go pay Clarence Peters. It's not me go back and say oh I, I pay Clarence Peters amount of money. Oh. No, you the artist go to see say see how much where this guy they spend and see as they go. Well, now, see, this is very... Some, some record label will come out just bogusly say, we'll spend so and so amount where they don't feel account for. That's why it's good. While you are bringing out that money, the artist go to the aware, say, see, yes, see, yes, see, yes. But if, when they are aware and later turn their backs and say, okay, hey, um, that we didn't... Problem. Problem. That is the problem I'm telling you about. Even if the artist self initial, initial and say yes, I collected this thing and inside my inside, they can come out tomorrow and say nah, like the, 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 the figures we are manipulating. My brother, it's about the cut of the, the masses. Now the so real cut, the real cut now, which is our own judicial system now. If I put her there now, I'll be the baddest guy in Nigeria. How can somebody be having a situation like that? I'm I'm taking the person to court. Because of money, is money everything? That's how it will end. Hmm. You think I'm happy throwing this my contract outside? That should be a confidential document. But must you put me to that, uh, subject me to that kind of uh, situation to do that? Now everybody sees uh, what Judo Koye wrote and what he typed and what was signed. But, but you see, you know why I asked you this question? Because... Um, your former artist said you didn't do anything for him, that you guys did not do anything for her. So as, as, as much as you, you have the contract, right, and the contract is there and he stated it, so how do you feel, having done it, it, everything and somebody said you didn't do anything for them, how do you feel? I don't understand what you mean by somebody saying, who is somebody now? Who be, what do you, which, other, which artist say I, I don't do anything for them? 
on a Sunday. Like for example, Cynthia saying that no, you didn't do anything example, because we're, we're not uh, making that uh, alleged here. You say the facts. Cynthia said no. So okay, now what what I'm basic what I'm what I'm basically leading at with this conversation is because of records, right? Okay. Because there's nobody, right, that will say. I will say this to artists in our industry today. Yes, and I always say this to every artist in this our entertainment industry today. Nobody in our industry, as far as you are under a record label, that you wake up tomorrow and say a record label never did anything for you. Now, Medi, what do you have to say about Medi Medi's situation? Okay. Was there a contract? He was never my artist. I was helping him out. When he, I saw his potentials, I gave him a contract. He refused. He left. That was it. A to Z. There was never a contract. He was never my artist. Hmm. So, so why, why do you think he's so angry now? My brother, that my brother now there I find myself home. I don't understand. I don't, I did not sign you. I was giving you a platform. I was putting my money on you. I was traveling all around with you. And I saw, okay, this guy ha can can be a potential investment. I bring contract to officializer. You say you know do. You go. I continue my life. Ten years down the line, you come up down one see how you go drag me rich. I don't understand. See, I have taken a lot of bullets that there is nothing that hits me anymore. There's nothing that touches me anymore. But the one I know that I have I have vowed not to allow again is my integrity. That is the only thing that a man has. A man can lose everything, but that is integrity. I can't let it again. So you know if you asking me about Medi, I I was asking somebody today, I was like, did this guy just wake up from the wrong side of the bed? I spoke to him like three months ago. As in, ah, what's up here in town? I beg, who sing this song? Something that went like, 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 like. I was like, how, where did this one come up from? He was here last year at my back on in my room here. We we're talking about, ah, how can I, uh, please, oh, uh, his mistakes uh, he, made, he made in the last time. Uh, can, I, can I be able to come back and restrain my this time and give him a contract? Can we do business and rest, 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 rest? I was like, my guy, see my situation with my brothers. Every two hours, do not go affect you. You go affect everybody. That's why I'm on break. And that's the thing to do with record level. See, right hold now, on, hold on, hold on. Mehdi came, he had this conversation with you. My brother, for my balcony, for my house here, my room, my bedroom balcony, last year. How can we? How can I don't understand people anymore. See, I I don't I, I am I'm short of words. I don't understand. I I I, I don't get it. Wait, maybe rejected your contract and left, and I came back. Last year, 2019, for this my balcony would they would they smoke cigar, they drink. Say Baba. I could let the past be a bit. I know say I fuck up. I know say this will happen. I beg, eh? Anyhow, we feel calm now. And we could do this thing together. You know, say we come off the public. We'll be say, okay. The, we don't come back together. We could run things together. I made him to understand that guy. This is why they pass your wound right now. See, I still get fresh wound with my brothers and what it happen and it will affect you. I won't wait to make this thing. Time they say they heal every wound. After a long run, I go there, I'll come back and we'll restart this thing. That was my last conversation with him physically until he traveled to Europe or so and stayed far. I'm following him on Instagram, he's following me on Instagram. We once in a while chit, chit chat. Last time Paul wanted to release um, this is song, uh, this last song before this one. If you want my money, take it. So there's one line he said. My fire, they blaze, I know I regret to. I was like, I've heard that rhyme before somewhere. 
I've heard that flow. I, I, I don't know. I, I was seeing my Oku and my Oku doing something like that. So I was like, okay, maybe wow. I don't have my Oku's number. And I called me. This is something like three, less than three months ago. I called me. I was like, I bet. Uh, my Oku don't get any so we go. Na, 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 na. That's when he now told me, uh, now one remix when you do with one Ghanaian. I had to go on YouTube. I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. And I showed Paul. I said, see, I'm going to say, na make no go make no day similar try and to change them and everything we laughed now half an hour why so he don't come back no time say he came back since uh, before christmas he has been in lagos so say no one come for that i was like come on now my house is uh, open for you anytime now so you know when you go come you go let me know oh boy now for sure me that meet him next to i don't understand hold on hold on see i want to understand something here because this is a very, very, this is where it feels very, very heartbreaking because you had the courtesy to pick up your phone and call Mehdi and ask him that your, your brother is currently recording a song and there's a line in the song that sounds like a song you have heard before, which is what every here now artist um, managers do. Do you understand? If we hear something on a song that sounds familiar, we try to look for where it's coming from. So you picked up your phone and called Mehdi. You had this conversation with Mehdi. If, if I open my call log on Mehdi's name, you see the date and time and the seconds will be minutes of, of conversation. My brother, sometimes things that happen to me, but I would ask myself, say, God, are you intentionally doing this thing? Is there something you are trying to show me? Why are people turning just Changing things for me like this overnight, as in unprovoked, oh, not Jesus Christ. Unprovoked. My brother, I have seen things so as in I have I have experienced things. It doesn't bother me anymore. I told you I wouldn't have come out to say anything, but hey, if that's if no, see, you see, the reason why we the reason why we need to make a blow, all the best. You see, and the reason why you know what? You know, I, I never want to I never want to bring on Mehdi's situation, but no, sir, our topic of you don't change now. You don't get plenty uh, viewers. <laughs> see, uh, you know, it's, you know what? Man? This is very, very unfair, man. Because you see, it is very, very unfair. I'll tell you because for Megi to have done that, that's actually a very, very, very big. Because you see, let me tell you something. When you were coming on this show, I put a call across to Megi, and I told him, I said, "Hey, listen." I want you to come on the show, right? If what you're saying is true, that means that's the reason why once I mentioned your name, he said he's not coming, that he will get back to me because I'll say it on this show because I didn't want the show to be like, oh, it's record label, so you have to mix it because there is someone like Sam Clever has been abusing as many labels as possible, so he's going to come, come on and speak about why and his own experience. So I called Mehdi, and we spoke, and I told him, this was like three days ago, I said, hey, I'm arranging um, another session for our industry conversation, right? Are you going to come on? He said, yes. I said, okay, I'm happy, I have, because, I said, because I have Jude, Chairman HKN, uh, that's Adewale, I mentioned the people I had on the, on the session. He said, um, Ubi, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. Ma, I check my schedule, I did do something with somebody, but I'll call you back. So now, with what you're saying, right, I would like Mehdi to please, I'll, because the thing is, this conversation needs to be balanced, right? I'm not saying you're lying, Oga Jude, but you see, this is very, very unfair for you not to have done anything to anybody, because, first of all, do you know what it is, eh, to have Mehdi on a, a, a song like Chop My Money? My brother, eh, first to see, like I said, A to Z of this whole thing, there was no contract. <sighs> Abi, fine. Did I, did I shoot videos for you? Yes. Did I spend my money on you promoting you? Yes. Did I give you a platform? Yes. Wow. When all these things were done, uh, did I offer you officially to sign you? Yes. You made a decision rejecting it. You left. Did I 
follow you up with a court injunction or litigation to get my money back? No. I left you. Did I come on the media to blacklist you or try to bring you down? No. Where did I do wrong? Ah. So, mm. if, if he, just made... him alone can admit on uh, 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 videos that yes, they gave me a platform. Yes, they sponsored my video. Yes, they offered me a contract. Yes, I refused and I left. There's nothing to talk about anymore. What, what, so what seems to be the problem? Everybody will come and say, Jude, you ruined this person's career. You ruined this person's career. How can I put my money on you to see you fail? How does that even work? Ah, see, eh? Uh, I'll you, eh? Uh, you, you, you don't understand, eh? What, what you're saying, right, is typical how life is. I know for a fact, yeah, that if the world knows the things that are embedded inside record labels, the things that happen, we'll not be here having this conversation because, you see, it's, um, it's, it, it really hurts. For someone like you, right, you have kids, you know, you have your wife, you have your brothers. You want to wake up one day and say, that, okay, listen, at least you are able to say one thing or the other because on that day that this story broke, I didn't want to, I will not, it has happened to me before, right? Until I carried a, I went to a radio station with one big file, with documents, the open document, the open document, still, fans know still greasy, I know it's at the top, you know? So, but the thing is this, eh? This is very, very heartbreaking, but I want to tell you that you need to keep the hope alive for our industry because we would like people like you to, um, the guy to continue the guy investing say... because the guy you say, did you call all the fans one by one to tell them to stop listening to him and ruin his career? <laughs> Do you understand? No, because the truth is, you see, okay, you know what I was telling um, you know what I was saying, uh, you know what I was saying to somebody a few days ago? I was like, listen, you want to leave a labor, a labor, you want to leave a labor, you want to, oh yeah, take, oh yeah, leave. You don't go, you know they blow. You can't release a hit song. You can't do A and R for yourself. You can't do anything. You are, you release song, the song will blow. You know you don't know how to maximize them. You don't know how to hustle the hustle. Your contact say, um, you then see go the talk, say your labor not do anything for you. That thing pisses me off the most. If I've left you to go, just go and do your music. Stop talking about me. My brother, the most painful part of this whole thing, Bobby, the millions what the the millions what I don't spend on these people. I never even give up my own brother. down. I never give up my own sibling, my own relations. Where if I give them, they go begin to do faster and pray for me till the end of their lifetime. Then I give somebody. Okay, allow me to look my wound in peace now. You go still go after years of trying it on your own. You don't feel me come again. You have to look for somebody that you have to blame. And the only person you feel fine again, that same person, where he won't give you that platform, that lift, where they notice you in the first place. How can human heart be that dark? How? Hi. I got you that. I want to, I want to say... It's not about, this is not um, about money wasted again. No. This is not about business see, again. No. Also, about also, like, also, as we spoke this morning, I want to tell you something, right? Um, Dotun is my guy, and I want to say uh, we are very, very sorry. Um, no, no, no. Um, Dotun, Dotun, <laughs> I, I have seen an apology. I, I never had any issue with Dotun. I, I don't blame him in any way because, um, first thing first, everybody reacted the same way. So it's a general notion that we are trying to correct now that any artist that comes and cries foul, everybody tends to believe and jump. So we are, I, I want to Sorry, boss. Get yeah, we're, we're, to... we're going to be cut off now, eh? Yeah. We've hit one hour. We're going to be cut off now. So I'll bring you back. Please, let me restart the video. Please. Okay.